Hi guys. Um, I'm sorry I didn't upload um, a video sooner and this video is mostly just going to be a catch up of this last week. Mostly the reason why I couldn't upload a video, or well, didn't upload a video rather than couldn't is because quite frankly nothing's been happening. But also some stuff has, just not enough to really make a full video on. So just to do a bit of, of a recap of what happened this week. So on Monday, um, some person started talking to me, some guy, he started talking to me on Instagram and then he asked me to add him on Google Hangout, so I did. And he's been talking to me, he's been talking to me till since Wednesday, mostly because I got bored, in all fairness, because he was going, he was talking about my profile pic, because it was like commenting on that picture of me dressed as Santa from my Santa Dash, and yeah, he was like going, he was asking, ugh, it was, I got a feeling he was somebody who was going to try and catch, catfish me later on down the line, because so he sent some pictures of himself, and yeah, he looked like he was a very attractive young man, but it's just like, do you think I'm really that shallow that I'm just going to go, Oh, aren't you wonderful because you look like this? Damn it, damn it. I'm not that shallow, believe it or not. So yeah, he was like saying stuff like how much he loved and how things he disliked were hatred and everything. And things he loved was people being honest and bloody fucking blah. When he said that, I'm part of me is making because you're so fucking honest. Because for starters, get this. His profile name on his Instagram was completely different to the one on his email for the Google Hangout. And then I flagged him about that, actually. Because he was like, oh, well, you can give me a... Do you, do you like my name? I'm like, wait a minute, I thought you were called such and such. He's like, I am, and I'm this, and I want you to give me a name as well. He wanted me to give him a nickname, basically. This guy that I have not met in real life, who thinks I'm apparently so fucking perfect, but wouldn't explain why he thought that. This is why I ended up getting really bored and not talking to him no more. Because by the end of it, there was part of a conversation going, Oh, I really admire you. I think you're great. And I was like, why? He goes, Oh, I don't just admire you. I think you're wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. And I went, why? <laughs> you know? You don't know me. You've never met me. You've been talking to me briefly on a, on a chatting thing. And you admire me? It's just like, you fucking know shit all about me. Go away, because he was doing the whole, like, oh, I want to I wanna meet someone, and I think you're my one person, and stuff. It's just like, I know this sort of shit works on some people, but it does not work on me. It really does not. So that was fun, from Monday to Wednesday, because I got bored. Then, on Monday, unfortunately, I am... Um, a bit of sad news happened. I, we had to put our dog down. Um, so I had two sausage dogs. And a bulldog. They're not mine, they're my auntie's. Um, but one of them was very broken. He had a lot of issues, unfortunately. And he just got really poorly over the weekend. And when we took him to the... Well, when my auntie took him to the vet, she ended up messaging me. Because after I finished work, I messaged her going. So, um, just to see if she wanted me to go and pick her up. But she sent me a message going, he's not coming home. I was like, what do you mean he's not coming home? I'm thinking that he might be like staying overnight or something. No, unfortunately they had to put him down because he was just everything wrong with him. He had diabetes, um, he had kidney and liver failure apparently and just wasn't repairable, obviously. So I'm now down to two dogs and it's it's weird. It's really weird. Because he was the, the spirited one. He was the one who would have a lot, actually muck around and stuff. He used to fling his toys about and stuff. And now we no longer have a basket full of toys and down to two dogs and it's weird. So that's what happened on Monday. Wednesday at work we did like a Christmas party. And uh, at the Christmas party I dressed up as Mrs. Claus. So I'll post an image that you can see of me dressed as Mrs. Claus and I looked so young. So young in fact, when I was actually going to Tesco's to get some ingredients because I planned to make some mince pies this weekend. Like, fruity mince pies. Um, I got ID'd when I bought brandy because you got to put brandy in the mince pies. So, um, yeah, I got ID'd. I actually got ID'd. I don't think I've been ID'd in years. <laughs> Moral of the story, just as Mrs. Claus with pigtails and apparently you get ID'd. <laughs> Even though I had a full face of makeup as well. Uh, yeah. My makeup doesn't make me look older, it makes me look younger, apparently. 
so that's what happened on Wednesday. Thursday, I made some traditional mince pies, which actually have mince meat in them, which is actually for my history channel. But they actually turned out very, um, very good, in my opinion, because I've never tried them before. And it's kind of like a saviour, saviour, and it's kind of a sav savoury dish, meat sweet. So it was really nice, actually. Um, so that's what I made on Thursday. And then today was the last day of work, and I decided to treat myself by going to the cinema. So I've been to see Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, just seeing that film, and I am so fucking happy that I got a chance to see it. So, yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so it's a good film, I really enjoyed it. Um, there were certain elements of it that kind of were a little bit of a repeat of the first one um, because it's just her like self-discovery and things all over again um, but overall I thought the film the film was really really good there's also a special cameo that comes slightly after the credits not the complete credits just like like the halfway credits or something um, which I'm not going to tell you what who the cameo is um, but yeah, I thought it was really good. There were certain editings that I didn't like. Like, there's obviously she's supposed to be like super fast and everything, so they did these edits of her like running like super fast, and um, it looked dodgy. <laughs> that looked a bit dodgy. Uh, and there were certain edits where she was like swinging around with the um, the lasso and stuff, and that was a bit weird. But I also feel like they just shoved in a lot of other things. Like people obviously know her for having the invisible jet. So they decided to shove that in this film and doing the whole, oh, wait a minute, Wonder Woman can actually fly. Yeah, they'll just shove that into this film as well. But overall, the film itself was really good. The villain was very interesting. And the message at the end of it, because it comes with a really good message, obviously, because it's Wonder Woman and she's all pure of heart and everything. Um, so it came with a really good message at the end of it, a message that I'm trying to, you know, so I think I'm really going to take it on board. And yeah, I, mean, yeah, I just think, yeah, can't really say much more. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what's happened this week. Also, my book unlocked. Physical copy seems to be unavailable in certain places. So, let me know if you've tried to get it from where. Let me know where you're from, actually, and if you tried to get it, and if you and if it's unavailable. Because if it is, then I will follow it onto the editor. So she knows, so she can try and sort it out. Um, cause it's all, there's loads of things about Amazon and Amazon won't do this and Amazon won't do that and stuff like. I learned from a friend of mine who actually tried uh, leaving a, a review that you need to spend at least like forty quid or something on Amazon throughout the year before you can review anything. Um, so that, I learned that as well. So, but we also need we do need like Amazon reviews on the book in order for it to climb and get ads and everything everything like ties into one another and it's not surprising so I've been talking to the editor she's been talking about all these things that Amazon say you need to do and it's just like I wanted to turn around to her and say oh it's all about fucking money isn't it it's just all about money when it comes to Amazon but I felt that was being a bit harsh because <laughs> um, she's trying her best you know and I'm really grateful for this opportunity and I didn't want to come across as being like a bit of a snobby person which I'm not I've been learning an awful lot about myself throughout this year and like the back end of last year as well and mentally I'm doing a lot better I'm more optimistic about things I'm more optimistic about life I'm more positive having a bit more of a positive positive attitude yeah I have my odd moments when I might moan and groan about certain things but overall my my view of life is quite positive and I'm trying to be better in myself and because it all has a ripple effect you know and um like every night I go to bed and um, practice gratitude and with the aim of trying to wake up a bit more optimistic which has not really been working because most mornings I wake up and I'm like I don't want to get up <laughs> but maybe that's just because it's a school night and I'm just it's a school day and I don't want to get up because I don't want to go to work so that's pretty much the same for everybody um, so yeah as you can gather pretty much nothing's really happened this week, hence why there's not really been any videos. Um, I've just been really exhausted. I don't really, do, I feel like I don't do much, and yet 
I'm exhausted when I get home. And when I talk to my colleague about it, she said it's because you're on you're on alert all the time, making sure everybody's okay, you know. You just don't register it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So next week, um, I'm hoping to be on top of my videos because I do have a lot of video ideas which I will be creating. And then I've also got to start uh, recording some videos for... Uh... Oh, sorry. Ooh, sorry. Um, the 12 Days of Christmas on my History Channel. Um, because uh, Christmas Day on this channel is going to be my last day until the new year. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that's what it's going to be like. And then on my main, on my history channel, it's going to be 12 days of Christmas from the 25th. So I'm not completely getting off YouTube. I'm just on a different channel. <laughs> Plus it's less videos over there because it's only the 12 days of Christmas. So I think it's what? Um, 25th of December till the 5th of January, I think it is, something like that. Could be wrong on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and bring out content over there. Try and get those numbers up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically what's been happening this week. And tomorrow is actually going to be a full-on, like, Christmas-filled day. So tomorrow, Saturday... I plan to um I uh plan to post off a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be wrapping all my Christmas presents and I plan to make some actual mince pies this weekend as well. So it's gonna be a bit full on. Oh actually before I forget, seeing as I've missed all the days gotta get the calendar. The calendar from the fourteenth go the Strawberry um, Body Shop Shower Gel. This was in day 14. Then in day 15, we have the Pink Grapefruit Hand Cream for day 15. Day 16 was um, the Pink Grapefruit Bath Bubble. Then for day 17... It is a nail file. It's quite a nice feel feeling one. It's really it's quite thick. So we've got a nail file. And then for day what is it? 18, we have another bath bubble thing, which is a coconut one. So these are the products we get on days 14 to, to 18 this week. And they will all be going into a goodie bag if you want. Um, so what I'd like you to do is um, leave a comment down below about your Christmas traditions. Um, what you do for Christmas. Every, anything to do with Christmas for you if you want to take part.